Hello everybody, today I'm going to be reinventing an old classic dish, meat and potatoes. What I got here is some ribeye steak, uh, some mashed potato cakes, and uh, a little bit of spinach mushrooms, and garnished off with a little fried carrots. So without further delay, let's get cracking. Alright, first thing you need to do is get a pot of the water, get it boiling hot. Hot heat's great. Add a little bit of salt, kind of like you would with pasta. I'm going to peel four russet potatoes and give them a good rinse. Shake all the dirt and stuff off of them. And we'll put them on our cutting board. Gonna cut it in half and then into a quarter. And then we're gonna cube them up. More surface area allows them to cook faster. Put them back in that bowl. Water should be boiling by now. Go ahead and add them in. Give them a stir. All right, while that's going on, let me crush up this bowl of garlic here. Get a few, about three or four big cloves. Crush them, peel them. And I'm gonna mash them up a little bit more because I'm gonna roast them in some butter. At about low to medium heat. Two sticks, unsalted butter, put them in there. Also add your garlic. Yeah, a little bit of salt, season with some pepper. I always like unsalted butter because you can salt it yourself and you know how much is going in there. Well, that's going on and I'm going to lightly season my ribeye steak. A little bit of salt, some pepper, some garlic powder. Uh, don't really get into marinades. If you get a good cut of meat, you don't need to marinate it. You know, just a light seasoning should do it. We're going to do it on that tray first and then transfer it over to a plate where we can Season the same on the other side. All right, let's get a fork in there and that butter, break it up some, kind of mash up the garlic. Test your uh, boiling potatoes with a fork. And when they're good to go, you can uh, go ahead and drain the water. If you have a colander, use that. This pot just has a locking lid that allows me to strain that way. And I put the potatoes off the side. I'm peeling some carrots, about three of them back in a bowl and I have this wonderful mandolin uh, very inexpensive you can get it at any department store and what I'm gonna do is with a julienne slicer I'm gonna rock them back and forth and I'm gonna make these nice uh, julienne slices check that out it's pretty cool huh and you can do that with any fruit or veg it's, it's very handy all right I'm gonna chop up some chives get them good and fine Put them in a separate pot. Don't bang your blade up against the pot like I did there. It's kind of silly. All right, transfer the potatoes into that small pot. Two heaping tablespoons of sour cream. Mash it up. And a little bit of that garlic butter that I had roasting. Just kind of pour a little bit of butter in there. And a couple of those cloves of garlic. Mash it all up again. There's a whole lot of mashing going on here. Uh, about a quarter cup of milk. To the right consistency or season to taste salt pepper you know what you like you've had mashed potatoes before okay and always always taste as you go all right i'm going to add an egg i'm going to scramble it up and we're going to add about half of it since that was a large egg so just kind of pour it in there this is going to help bind the potatoes all right stir it all in now you could have just served the mashed potatoes as they were but this is the process of making the cakes. So I need a couple tablespoons of flour. Stir that in. And you're gonna add, add a little bit more seasoning as you go. So keep tasting. Speed up the process, put them in the freezer, let it chill for about 20 minutes. All right, here's some portobello mushrooms, diced onions, some shredded cheddar, carrots, and some baby spinach. All right, transfer our little pot of garlic and butter to the back. Crank the oven up a bit, about 350. Uh, medium to high for the large saucepan there. A little extra virgin olive oil coated generously. That's going to be for our ribeye steak. And put in there. Spread it out. Normally I like grilling over fire, but uh, this is a great way of doing it at home when you can't grill outside. So extra virgin olive oil in the other pan. That's going to be for the potatoes. All right, check our steak. We just want to sear it, caramelize it a little bit. We're not trying to cook it all the way through yet. 
All right, look at that garlic butter spread it on that pan. And we're ready to start putting some potatoes in there. Just kind of tap a couple big tablespoons in there. They don't have to be pretty. That comes later. And we flip our ribeye once again, check it, make sure it's good. We're gonna finish it off in the oven at 350. Right now it's rare, but it is seared on the outside, keeps all the natural flavors in. Cast iron pan, I got some canola oil. And that's what I would use if I was gonna fry chicken or anything else. All right, check our potatoes, flip them over. Another little saucepan, that's gonna be for our onions, spinach, and mushrooms. And I'm gonna test the oil with a couple shreds of carrots. When they start to sizzle and bubble, they're ready to be added in. Potatoes are done, go ahead and pull them out. And I'm ready to add my carrots in because they're starting to bubble up. Like I said, medium to high is good. And I'm gonna make some more mashed potato cakes just because they're so doggone good. Tap yawn in there. Shake them up. Good nonstick pan. All right, the other saucepan's good and hot. Add our onions. And a little bit of garlic. Not all the butter, just a couple of those cloves of roasted garlic. I would normally use minced garlic. But. All right, our steak is good. It's only been in there for about 10 minutes. And I'm gonna put it on another cutting board and let it rest. Put our mushrooms in, the onions. Check our carrots. We just want to lightly brown them. A little extra virgin olive oil, season, of course, salt, pepper, you know the deal. <laughs> and flip our potato cakes. They get a little dark, it's alright. They're still soft on the inside, crunchy on the outside. Carrots are done. Go ahead and pull them out. Let them uh, drain on paper towels in that separate bowl. Add our spinach in. Doesn't take very long for that to finish up. Put that in last. Mix it in with your mushrooms, and once they're good and wilted, go ahead and put them in another bowl. And now that our meat has rested, we're gonna go ahead and slice it up. Now you could serve it just as it was, big old steak, but I'm gonna make it pretty, of course, you know me. All right, now I'm plating. As I said, my favorite thing to do, put the uh, potatoes down, just little cakes, put a little shredded cheddar on there. You can mix it in with the mashed potatoes as they cook, but I like to put it on top, just it looks nicer that way. Spinach and mushrooms, garnish it up. All right, now we're gonna carefully lay a few slices of that ribeye right on top. It's kind of like sculpting. Definitely fun stuff to do. All right, a little bit of that uh, fried julienne sliced carrots, a little crunch on top, tender meat in the middle, and soft and crunchy potatoes and. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil to finish it off. Then take a little pride and clean the plate. I know this recipe may seem a little intimidating, but if you've got the patience, uh, I'm pretty sure you can pull it off without a problem. Once again, thank you for watching my videos. Please check me out on Facebook, and uh, I have a link down below that'll take you straight there, and you can see some of my other dishes. And uh, can't wait to make the next one.